Hello dancers, this is Rangel from Image Ballroom Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. Today we're going to be talking about Samba Bounce. Welcome back. Before we move forward and start talking about the Samba Bounce, let's first find out what exactly Samba Bounce is. Samba Bounce is compression and strengthening from your knees and from your ankles. So most people know that they need to be using their knees, but they forget the fact that their legs have multiple joints and we can be using our knee joints, our ankle joints, and we also have the hip flexors. So we're gonna be engaging later on in this video all these body parts. Before we start talking about the mechanics of the Samba Bounce, I would like to talk a little bit about the direction of the bounce. So most people, when they try to do bounce, it looks a little bit like they're going quite a lot up and down because they're using their knees and their ankles with the intention of bouncing in this direction, going up and going down. One thing I always recommend, and it helps me a lot, is to think of the bounce is like a racquetball. So if you're playing against the wall, think of a bouncing forward and back. So instead of going up and down, think of using your knees forward and back. So instead of having this constant popping action, like a popcorn going up and down, think of that racquetball and try to bounce from your lower body only forward and back. Again, using your knees, of course your ankles, and you're gonna in include later on also your pelvic action. I'm gonna turn also from the back so you can take a look. So we don't wanna go up and down and doing this constant popping in the air. We actually wanna use if I do a whisk or if I just do a side step, we want to be using this forward and back bounce where you can notice I'm engaging my pelvic action, I'm engaging my feet, uh, my knees, and I'm also using the ankles. In a little bit, we're going to discuss what is the timing of the bounce and also some specifics about the body mechanics. Now you know that the bounce is not going to be only up and down. For the majority of it, of course, you're going to have some up and down movement, but the majority of it is going to be going forward and back. Now let's see how we're going to be counting. What is the timing? So when we usually do a bounce, a great exercise is if you just position yourself on a standing, like in my case, I'm choosing to be the left one. It can be either one, it can be the right, and it can be the left. The other one is going to have only a supporting role. We also call it a free leg. Put some pressure with the floor so you just have like that feeling that is supporting your standing leg. So one exercise that you can do is just doing a bounce only in your standing leg using this forward and back feeling that we spoke about earlier. So we're going to be counting one and two and and the one and two end, end has the beat value of half, half. Also, we call it, if you want to use squeaks, quick, quick. So we're just going to take half a beat to go forward and down to compress the knee and half a beat to straighten the knee and go backward and slightly upward. So it's going to go half forward, half backwards, half down, half up. One, and two, and. Now it's lost in quicks. Quick, 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 quick. Now a great exercise is if you, if you want to practice only this without incorporating any other figures from the syllabus, is just to go from one leg to the other. You can go, start on the left, and go twice. One, and two, and. From here, use your ankle, Push on the other side and go on the right. One and two and use your ankle, go to the left. One and two and one and two and using the ankle. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways also. 
we're gonna start first standing on that left leg we're gonna start first forward on one and two and go up and over one and two and you can play some slow music and it doesn't really take much space you can just try bouncing in place again try to use only the lower part of the body but in a little bit we're gonna go more into the mechanical execution so one more time play some slow music and try one and two and 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 one and two one, you can start turning, one and two, and one and two, and one and two. Now we continue with the basic mechanics. And mechanics is another way of saying, how do we do it better? Which body parts, which body mechanics we're gonna be using, to make the step look more attractive and also of course to feel more efficient when we dance. So let's review what we know already. We know that the bounce is not only up and down but it's gonna be also forward and back. And bounce means flexing and straightening of your knees and your ankles. So we're gonna be using the majority is these two joints. And now we're gonna be start talking about your pelvic action. So the pelvic action, think of a grandfather clock, is going to be using this swinging action. So the pendulum action is going to be, if you have your tailbone, which is the end of your spine, so your spine starts somewhere right here, where your neck, you can feel it on the back, there is like a bone that is sticking up, and the tailbone is somewhere in between your pelvis uh, at the back. So we're going to be having this pelvic area right here gonna be contracting and it's gonna be stretching another way we can also feel a change happening here in our core we're gonna be using the center like in ballet the center always stays closed so this center doesn't really open but in Latin dancing we actually are gonna be opening the center and closing the center to produce this pelvic action so you don't want to hold tight here the whole time because if you just try to hold tight no matter what you do it's going to look quite restricted and also stiff so you want to be flexible and using that center that core area here where you can open the center and you can close the center when you combine this with your knee and ankle action it's going to start elongating your tailbone and it's going to make your spine quite lengthy so if you do this into a whisk so we're going to be going from here and one this is when I elongate a uh, two and one a uh, two you can see that my pelvis is constantly going uh, forward and back as I'm going slightly up and down from my knees and also from my ankles. So, which body parts are engaged? We already spoke about the knees and our ankles. The ankles are gonna be doing an action, also some teachers call it takeoff. Takeoff is when I go in a releve. So this happens in the end of straightening my knees, right before I reach the maximum straight leg action. This is when I engage my ankle to take off and push myself to the side. When I push myself to the side, I receive with a control into that next step and I start absorbing with my knee. When the knee starts bending down or flexing down, I'm gonna start using this uh, center, it's gonna feel that it's contracting here in the front, which at the back you're gonna see how you're lengthening and having your tailbone going under. From here, I'm gonna straighten my knee. I'm gonna start lifting on a releve, which is gonna pull my foot behind. And I'm gonna drop down, of course, drop down with a control, and I'm gonna follow the same structure. I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna receive with a flex knee, then I'm gonna have the pelvic action, 
and I'm gonna repeat. The moments I feel that I cannot go anymore, most of the time the speed of the music is gonna keep you accountable, you start working in the opposite direction, upwards and also rebouncing, we call it rebouncing out of that leg. So we're gonna go one and a two and a 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 one and a two. So keep using your knees, keep using your ankles. One thing that you don't want to do is to stop using your ankles. The moment you stop using your ankles, you're gonna have one heel quite stuck on the floor. So you're gonna have like a pop only on that ah, one, ah, two, one, ah, two. You want, remember, it bounce. You want to go for one bar of samba, which is one, two. You wanna go up and down or forward and back twice. That's why we have one and two and. So if I start again facing the camera, I'm gonna go one time, up and down. Second time, up and down. That was my one and two. And if I go and, one and, a uh, two 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 and. All right, so practice this again to summarize forward and back, the bounce more than going up and down. Then think of timing, it takes half a beat to go forward and half a beat to come backwards. And then engage your joints, hip joints, ankle, uh, sorry, knee, uh, knees and your ankles and try to time them with this half, half timing that we spoke about earlier. Enjoy your practice and I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you very much and see you soon.